Hello and welcome to Technocrane track introduction video. In that video I will give some notes about first run, first use of Technocrane track device and how to customize the common things here. First of all you should connect a real crane with a serial port to your computer. Then you can go to Assets Browser window and from Devices locate Technocrane device and drag and drop into your viewport. It will automatically do a first run if everything is fine because by default it has AutoConnect feature on. But if you have any issues to connect to your COM port, you can go to Navigator UI settings and choose another serial port if your real crane is connected to another one. Or you can try alternative connection. It's another way, another approach to connect to and exchange data with a serial port and then you can try to activate. Even if you add a device from a device section of assets, you should know that this device is the solver object. So to locate it in the scene navigator window, you should go to solvers branch. Before you use the device for tracking and recording, you should enter some parameters of your real camera. It's a camera frame rate and sensor dimensions. Sensor wide and height could be in millimeters or inches, depends on your unit setup. It's important to enter correct values so that your system will align packets according to your camera frame rate. And also sensor dimensions is needed to do an accurate calculation of a virtual camera field of view. It's very easy to do recording in Motion Builder. First of all, you should enter record button and choose if you want to create a new take or override existing. Then you press play button and you start your recording. When you want to finish, you should press stop button. When it's ready, the tracker will do some backup saving. It will use autosave path as the temporary folder where he puts backups. By default, it's a user temp folder. After recording, if you want to play your pre-recorded camera animation, you first of all need to turn your Technocrane solver device to offline. You can do that by unchecking the active property. And then you can play your camera animation. If you lost your Navigator UI, you can return it back by double click on your Technocrane device in the navigator tree or there is an alternative way just to click on the left corner on your Technocrane HUD system. Tracker device has also a crane preview feature. It's a parametric animation that emulates a real crane movement in virtual space and because it's an emulation in some cases it could not be precise. To turn on your preview you can go to crane setup and just choose your crane model. If your real device is on rails and to reflect the movement correctly in virtual space, you should calibrate your track position along the rails. Crane preview animation will be recorded with the camera as well. There is also a feature when you can turn off your camera movement streaming to do that, we can turn off active state, go to the properties for locating advanced settings and turn off stream camera, then return active back. If we play camera animation, the crane will follow it. You can use it to make a preview for already existing or pre-recorded camera movement. Camera focus value is converted into centimeters and connected to a camera specific distance property. So that if you have a look into render options, you will see that specific distance reflects the focus value. You can use it for real time depth of field effect. For more detailed information about tracker properties and advanced setup, please check a tracker user guide. Thanks for watching and have a good shooting!